Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today I'm going to talk about how to hit that high shot when you maybe are in trouble. Uh, you got to hit over a tree or, you know, it's just you got to hit a high shot. So I've got a seven iron. I'm going to use the example of, let's say we're, we're in trouble, we're in trees and you got a somewhat decent lie. It's not sitting down and rough, okay? And you need to hit it over a tree or if you're playing a course where the hole's going this way and you got to hit over a tree, kind of cut it around or go over it, go over the tree. The setup is the main thing. So there's a few things in the swing that are different too that I've been very successful with over the years that can make it very consistent to hit this shot. So I've got a seven and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the ball position more forward in my stance. My weight's gonna be 50-50. I'm gonna set up the same as, as always. But what I'm gonna do differently too is I'm, I'm gonna limit my movement. I'm gonna think of this shot more like a uh, sand shot, a fairway sand shot, where I'm gonna stay more still in my swing. I'm gonna use a lot more arms. And when I come down, I, I'm really gonna have my arms swing kind of like in a flop shot where I keep my arms really moving and it's very accelerated. And uh, I've kind of finished leaning almost a little back, not much, but I'm not gonna be as forward, okay? So my head will definitely be behind the shot when I hit this. Okay, so let me hit one here and show you how it looks. See the ball placements up here. My hands are even, maybe a slightly bit back of the club face. Okay, and that went way high. That would have got over anything. Still going, still going, just landed. But you can see I stayed very quiet with my legs, had a lot of arm speed, kept my head still, boom, and came through it and held the finish. Uh, we don't, we want to limit the movement in the swing, the head especially, keep that head still in the back swing. So this is a great shot. You should practice on the range because you will have this shot and it's nice to have these different type shots when you're out there playing, not just be limited, okay? It's fun to practice. Uh, I challenge you to get better at this. The main thing, get the setup and uh, Hope it works well for you, okay? So check out other videos and blogs I have on barnhillgolf.com.